just gluing away over here. Oh my gosh. I had a, a guest in my <laughs> craft therapy club tonight and she had to reconnect. She was live in our group teaching something and she had to reconnect because something was just wonky and not working right. So if you're coming back on, welcome back. We're just going to keep crafting and creating over here at the Comfy Nest, even though Marky Z doesn't want to be playing nice tonight. He's just not playing nice. He's not sharing his toys, as they say. All right, we're going to glue down while we wait for everybody to come back on. I can't believe it. I hope we didn't, like, truly lose everybody. Well, there's 13 back. <laughs> Let's see if everybody makes it. There's 15 back. I don't know what's going on. Did you guys have some other, like, really funky stuff going on on Facebook today? Oh, my gosh. Marilyn, I'm glad you made it. <laughs> It's been so, yeah, Michelle's just messaging me saying it's freezing up on me. I don't know what's going on, folks. We're just going to create and we're going to hope for the best. This is part seven of the Mother, Mother Goose book. I have trouble with lots of lives this past week. Somebody else said today, oh, the guest that we had, Miss Sheila um, from Sweetie's Creations was a guest in the Craft Therapy Club. And she said she thought it's been since that, since the Facebook glitch happened a while back when everybody lost Facebook for hours. Um, she said she thinks it's from there, from, you know, that it's residual from that. I don't know if that's true, but good gravy. Now it's like, I can't even find the live on my own page. Let's see if I can find it. My lights are flickering. Maybe it's incredibly windy here. Something, something, something's going on here. It's a little funky. All right, we're just gonna just sit and drink wine. We're not gonna worry about it. We're sitting in the dark drinking wine. Glue in hand. I mean, we're ready to glue. <sighs> deep breaths. Take a deep breath. What? Where is it? I cannot find it. Hmm. Anybody else having issues or seeing issues on Facebook lately with live feeds just being really wonky? I mean, we're wonky over here. Don't get me wrong. We're totally wonky over here. It keeps pausing, Don. Oh, man. It's a total bummer. It's a wicked bummer. It's so glitchy, Gia says. It is for me, too. So I don't know. Oh, it's Facebook. It's got to be. It's happening everywhere on other people's lives, Jana says. It happened, like I said earlier, to our... Hey, Teresa Erke. Glad you made it back. Thank you for sprinkling, Miss Marilyn. It's so weird. Hello in California. Oh, wait a minute. Who was that? Patty. Hello, hello. All right, let's just try to do what we can do. Okay, I, I glued this down already while we were trying to reconnect. I didn't waste no time. I know, it's a total bummer, Jana. Now I keep freezing up. Teresa, should we go over to YouTube? <laughs> should we just say fooey with this and head on over to YouTube and go live? Mm, I don't know. Here, look at I glued it down. Look at how cute it is. Look at, okay, no, that's not the same page. But look at, it's really cute. So now we have this 12 by 12 page here as a flip out and it matches this page. Why is, because that's a flip out matches so we have like dueling flip outs but they're different sizes actually you could even you could even do that how cool is that i love those little peekaboo like unexpected things it's freezing on everyone hey sheila that's the same trouble you had earlier oh good Lori wallace says i'm fine on her end yay good Lori. you've got the magic touch my dear i can't even get the feed on my ipad here I can't even. Can't even. I usually say that actually. I can't even. Um, cannot find it. Let's try one more time. It says fetching data. What the heck does that mean? All right. I'm going out of Facebook completely. I'm going to go back in. <laughs> What's everybody else up to tonight? Besides trying to connect with me <laughs> or anybody else on Facebook. Let's try. Please bring me to my business page. That is called the Comfy Nest with Grace. It won't even. It won't even let me. Oh, Tracy's good. Yay. Hi, Michaela. Hello, hello. All right, girls. 
I have to watch the comments up here. I usually look at them down on my iPad because it's easier for me to see. It's the witches. <laughs> Janet said it's, it's the witches. It could be. Dun, dun, dun. It could be. Going in and out. Oh, for goodness sake. Somebody call whoever is the board. Like, I, what I, <laughs> something's not working at my house. <laughs> if I want something different, I usually do that and, and wait for somebody in my family <laughs> to do something. About. If I'm cold, I'll be like, somebody get me a blanket. And usually one of my children or my husband will bring me a blanket. It's just a joke. I'm not trying to be a jerk. It's just kind of a joke in my house. It started, <laughs> do you guys know this story about the tub? Do you know the story about when I take the tub? I don't like being cold and then I can be a little um, reactive when I'm really cold. So our, the, we have a fireplace that goes double-sided like our bedroom, master bedroom and the bath room. And we put the bathtub, when we redid the bathroom, we put the bathtub right in front of the fireplace. It's the most glorious decadent thing ever. Never in a million years if we had built a house would I ever build that into a house, but we bought this house and that's what it came with. Called G's. That's funny. So anyway, when we first moved into the house, I would flip the switch on the hot, the, the um, fireplace, fill the tub, get in it. And then after about 20 minutes, I'd be like, oh, it's too hot. It's too hot. So I'd try to yell like to my family, like someone please shut off the place and nobody would answer. So then I started texting them because I would always have my phone with me texting them. Landon, please come upstairs. Like if, if he was in his bedroom downstairs, please come up and shut the fireplace off. Or I'd, I'd text my husband, honey, please come shut the fireplace off. And they would be like, seriously, like you couldn't get up. I was like, if I get up out of the tub, I'm going to wet everything. So no, I can't get out of the tub. So it's, it, it turned out to like, oh, Grace, all she has to do is clap and someone will come running and shut off the the fireplace because I couldn't quite gauge. I was always just so cold. So I'd turn everything on, get in the tub, and then I'd be like, oh my gosh, I'm like literally sweltering in here. And then I would call the Calvary, like, come please, someone take care of that. So that's how it started. Now, every time I ask anybody to do anything, they're like, just like the clapper, just clap and someone will do it for you. But that's not really what happens here. I'm usually the one doing something for everybody else. I'll just have you know, that's why I drink caffeine. That's why. Because oh. some days are just too much. I can't get the feet up on my iPad, so I'm just going to give up. Okay, this page, We this is a piece of canvas fabric here. This is a piece of canvas fabric. This is the middle of the signature, so this is where we tied in our jute. We tied all our pages in. I put little beads on the end of the jute, so they have little danglies. So cute. This I cut a little bit longer and we folded this to make a little tuck flap here. This is a napkin from the Napkin Lovers Club and I'll hold this up later and go page through so you can see things closer. And when I cut this canvas, I actually wanted this little fancy cut to be a little tab on the other side and I put it in backwards. So now I have to contend with this because I don't like it being here. So I'm actually gonna cut this. <laughs> I'm gonna use a ruler just so I'm not super, because I'm not generally very straight. Actually, my quilt ruler would be better because it's clear and it has all these lines on it. So I can use the lines on the ruler and line them up with the bottom of the fabric to make sure that I'm straight. And then when I make my line, I have this little envelope flap here. When I make my line, it should be straight. It should be. So I'm going to give myself a little pencil line here to cut off that excess because the way I intended to use it, I put it in backwards so it's not working out the way I wanted it to. So we're going to just cut this off. And it's fabric. It's just canvas. And then I think I'm going to stencil it a little bit, if you can imagine. And then look what this is. Same canvas fabric. I was practicing to showcase um, for Essential Stencil that their rub-on transfers work on fabric, and they do. They're absolutely beautiful. So I'm going to include this. This could be sewn into a project. This could be made into a little gift tag. You could punch a hole in it. I'm going to include this inside the book in the little tuck spot, like right there, because it fits perfectly, and it's so cute. So that's going there. I'm going to stencil a little bit on here just to make it decorative because it's so plain, and I'm going to use this, the, tri uh, the diamond one because it matches the diamonds on the outside and throughout the book. 
Uh, let's see. I'm trying to catch up with the comments. Trying. Well, darn it, Jana. Well, darn it with this. Like to have missed you. What, Jackie? I hope you don't miss me. You're here now, so you're getting to watch. I know, Jane, isn't that a funny story, Laura? You guys are all laughing, so that's what mom is supposed to do. Debbie, that's what we do. <laughs> oh, Donna, yeah, that's the bathtub story. That's how this all came to be, was because I was like, please, someone come shut that fireplace off. It is too much. Okay, I'm going to use this bronzy color because I know the lighting in here really S-U-C-K-S. I'm going to use this because I think it's really pretty and because we have the copper paper right here, this copper shimmery paper and some copper here, we're going to add a little copper right there. And um, I moved it. I, I, I changed things around. So I moved my little, my little palette, my paint palette thing. I need a little bit of this. And I'll probably use this in a couple of places, but I'm just going to grab a little bit of it on my my little stencil brush and we're gonna, I don't want it to be solid. I'm just gonna like willy nilly put a few diamonds here and there just so it looks, and it's gonna match the um, outside of the book. See, this is interesting. When I watch the lives on my iPad, so a separate device, not the device that I'm using to record from, when I do that, it shows the comments beautifully. When I try to watch it from my phone, where I'm broadcasting from, the actual camera that I'm using, it doesn't, it shows me like that somebody might be watching, but it doesn't always show me all the comments. Oh, did I find it? Hold on. It finally showed up. Hey, Kathy. Listen, we were, we were glitched out. So we're just kind of coming back in too. Do you have a storm coming? Um, you know, the lights were just flickering, which is interesting. We're supposed to get, well, it's, it's windy. It's just really windy. Yes, Michelle, you can rub out those transfers right on um, fabric. Pretty fabulous. Okay, let's just willy-nilly. I use the word willy-nilly sometimes. I don't know why. We're going to willy-nilly add some bronze diamonds. Why not? And I actually want them to be kind of subtle, and that first, the first two are not subtle. <laughs> Ain't nothing subtle about that one. All right. I want them to be willy-nilly, meaning like just wherever, really random. I don't need them to be super perfect. And in fact, I'm going to even pull them over onto this side. So let's pull out our little fabric pumpkin, move our little beads, and let's put this across and under the little flap. And we'll pull some over, like we'll drag them over here onto the other side. Why not? We can do whatever the heck we want because nobody's the boss of us. This paint is going a super long way. Like it's still letting go of paint on the, the brush is still holding on to paint. I really like this. I like me some willy nilly. <laughs> okay, look, hand tight. We're going to stick this in here. This is going to go in here. I'm going to leave this plain. I don't know why. Maybe the person who ends up with this book can decide if they want to add something new to that. Because I feel like I'm creating this art journal. It's a junk journal, but it's an art journal. And I'm thinking about actually selling it when I'm done with it, you guys. Here's the little flap. Here's the little pumpkin in the flap. And then we just added those copper diamonds, just willy-nilly. So whoever gets this, they can like decoupage something on here. They can write something on here. They can print out their favorite phrase and put it on there. They can do whatever they want with it. They can glue a picture on there, whatever they want. Okay, next up, we're just dressing things up. I'm glad you like that. I saw some hearts flying across the screen. Here, this is super plain, super plain. And we have this envelope. We have this envelope here. Um, I want to leave the envelope because I think it's really nice to have the envelope. I have this in here. Why did I have this? I have this in here. No, I think it fell out of this page. The envelope. Hmm. I like the diamonds. Do we want to carry the diamonds on over to the envelope or should we do something more drastic? Haven't quite decided here, but what I did decide, so let's just do this right now, is that this decorative paper can come on here and it will cover the writing on the back of this page 
but it will leave the graph. I like the graph paper. So it will leave the graph paper, but it will cover the writing and it matches the envelope. So we're gonna glue this down right here. So I think I'm gonna put the glue, oh, that's even prettier. <laughs> this side is, it's double-sided. That side with the foil is even prettier. Should we do circles or should we do foil? Oh, foil me. I think foil. I'm not even gonna wait for you guys to answer. How's that? Usually I ask you and I wait for you to answer and then I go with whatever you say. But tonight, hmm, tonight, foil Jana, I'm with you on that one. Yeah, Gia says Gia C and foil too. Kana says foil C. We're actually all in agreement. Yep, Marilyn's saying foil. Girls, I think you, uh oh, don't want the glue on that. I think you are correct. Correcto mundo. We're just putting, this is a glue I've never used before tonight. It's very gooey. It's a little, it's a little gooey, but it's clear. Um, I think I can drag it because it doesn't set right away. Yeah, my lights are flickering, folks. We got flickering lights going on in here. It's a little spooky, actually. Okay, we got 41 people back, so that's good. I don't know if we're quite back to where we were, so I'm sorry to anybody we lost. I know I'm just not the only person that this is happening to. It happened to Sheila tonight in our in my paid membership group. We had Sheila as a guest. Thank you for being here, Sheila, by the way. And it happened to her tonight. Why is this not sticking? Oh, there we go. I clearly didn't use enough glue. So this has that broad edge, but it also has like a... Oh, and that one's really like a good fine point. So if you need just to do something little. Okay, I'm leaving the graph paper because I like it. I actually don't mind this being just the way it is because whoever gets it, if you're an art journaler, you can art journal it, you can do whatever you want with it. This page I'm a little stumped by. This spread and partially because of the clasp and the envelope. Like this are the folder. I want to keep the folder or the, um, the little opening here but I don't know what to do with the folder itself. Maybe we'll paint it. We'll come back to that later. Here, on this one. Okay, so what was I gonna do here? This is the page where I use the art glitter glue, and for the first time I found a way I don't like to use the art glitter glue because this has been my glue favorite for like a month and a half, month, month and a half. Hey, are you still, you're backwards now, you guys. I can tell because you can't read that. Hold on, we gotta press some things. Oh, and there, there's more light. This has been my favorite, but this glue did this, which I don't like. Look, my packing paper that's admittedly a very thin paper, I scribbled the glue all over the back of the packing paper, and you can see the scribbles. <laughs> you can see the scribbles of the glue. You can see them, and I don't like that. We're gonna cover this up because I don't like the scribbles of the glue. And I was thinking, because this scrapbook paper, these two ladies have clocks around them. I went to graphic, um, graphicsfairy.com and I just typed in clocks. And she has this bundle of clocks that you can purchase. I didn't purchase the bundle. This was like the advertisement. So if you like these clocks, go to graphicsfairy.com and buy this bundle, clock and watch faces. And you get all these. She has some free ones too. Oh shoot, I did print out. Oh man, I forgot it. I printed out another one that I thought would be a good option, but I left it in my office, so I guess not. I was thinking this could be fun to put this over those scribbly glues. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna rip it down to make it smaller. I don't even care if I rip through the clocks don't really care because I want it to look really distressed and old like the paper on this page does. Perfection. So I'm ripping. Just like we did this on the page with the skeleton head. I'll show you that in a few minutes. Do you remember that one? So we're ripping. We're ripping to get like really rugged edges there. It's going to fit on here perfectly. Oh, this one needs a little more rip. It'll fit on here, it'll cover up those squiggly marks of glue, but this is just too white and bright. Remember? I don't like white and bright. So we're just gonna do the same thing we did with the skeleton head. We're gonna crumple it, 
we're going to uncrumple it. <laughs> and then we're going to distress it. Okay, we want all those nasty wrinkles in there. I'm going to move this over for a minute. We need the nasty wrinkles. I also need a sip of water. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Marilyn, I'm so glad to hear that. Oh, friend, you are welcome here. I'm glad you love the ideas. I'm happy to share. I'm really happy to share. Okay, we're going to distress this. So I usually use my distress ink pads to do this. So let's grab one or two. I've got this one. I need to grab a little dauber for that. And... Um, there's some black on that page, but it actually comes out looking like a gray. So let's grab some gray just for the sake of it. I'm trying to like really make it kind of work with this page here. Okay, that's the page I'm trying to get it to like mimic and work with design wise. So let's take some of the archival ink on one of these little daubers. These have these replacement foam things. And I, I can't remember when I replaced this. I just, almost always use brown, black, or gray. So I don't really ever replace this. Most of the time I'm looking for things that are really mucked up and distressed. So I don't mind if other colors are coming through normally. Um, so we're just going to come in and I'm just going to add color to this. And where it's been wrinkled, you're going to see the color is going to be darker. Okay. And the color that I'm using is called coffee. Okay, that's what I'm using. So I'm just gonna scribble this, like the kids can help with this. If you're doing your art journaling and you got the kiddos around, you can say, here, honey bunny, <laughs> make this brown for me. And they can, doo -doo -doo -doo. they can just scribble away. I actually could add a little pink or peach because that page has that on there. Hi, Gan Man. You're going to bed. Do you wanna say hi to anybody? Or not? You can come over here for a little hug. You don't have to do it on camera, I'll roll over. I gotta roll away for a minute. Get a good night hug. Did you? Did you have another Scary. terror? You did. Why don't you sleep up here on the couch? It's okay. With dad. Mm -hmm. He'll protect you. He has lights on and he's doing his homework. Dad? Yeah. Oh. So. All right. I'll check on you when I go to bed, okay? When I'm done. I love you. Good night, kiddo. Make sure you bring a water down. Yeah. Again, I put your lotions on, please. That's my son who's been sick. We need to make sure we do all the checklist of items before bed. Okay, look. We just mucked it up and <laughs> made it kind of dirtied up. Not completely, but a lot. But let's add another color just for the sake of it. Let me see if I have something that's kind of peachy. Thanks for waiting for my little hug session for my son. He, he's so good. He always does make sure I get a little hug before bed. My 14-year-old. Oh, thanks, you guys. All right, I have this set. I don't know. They're stacked on each other. What color? No, I don't want blue. This one is called Age Mahogany. So that would bring in some, not pink, but like reddish tones. Look, I don't change the dauber. I'm just, you can if you want. I know some people have a different dauber. One dauber for every color that they own. And I don't. I just, it's too fussy for me. And that would take the fun out of it for me. So I just don't go there. But if that's fun for you, like if all that organization and specificity is fun for you, then I say do it. It's just not fun for me, so I don't do it. You know me, I always say you do you, girlfriend. All right, look. So we added a little of that mahogany in there. I actually, holding it up and showing it to you, I like it even more. So I think I'll put some more of that. Let's just see where else we can put a little bit of that like reddish tint. I like it. I like it a lot. Do you ever Watch that movie, Dumb and Dumber. It's one of my favorites, just because it's so silly. All right, look, and my, my teenage boys love that movie. All right, look, that's better. And then, of course, let's get the edges. And why not do it with mahogany? Why not? It's already on my, it's already on here. It's kind of hard to do because I crinkled up the paper so it's, it's not really holding its own. So it's kind of hard to get these edges because the paper's so soft. It's not cardstock or anything. And then I'm gonna do like what I usually do to add just a little bit more. And let's do it with the gray just because we can. Why not? Oh, I got an itchy eye. I love 
love the, yeah, Gia says, I like the layering of the ink colors. I do too. And I love that it picks up all those like crinkles in the paper. They come out darker. But I do, I like, I still like to take my paper flat on my ink pad and just, I just tap usually, just to add like random marks that may not have been there otherwise. Like right there is the gray, that gray spot right there. So I do like to come in and just muck it up a little more. See, there's a gray spot. It looks like somebody spilled some ink on there. It's good. <laughs> I can see the spots are kind of bright in there, so I'm gonna darken it up. Actually, I really like the gray. We might, we might do this, this a lot. So see, I'm not really like rubbing it. I'm just tapping it on there. So it's getting little bits of dark gray markings on it. So it's more mucked up. Okay, this is gonna get glued down. That's just how easy that page is. Decorative, artistic, fun. We're like pulling in designs, colors from this other page. Is it exact? Heck no, but it's pretty darn good. That's gonna be cute there. Now, my page is crinkly and I like it. I would like for it to stay a bit crinkly. So instead of using that other glue and really using that wide applicator, I'm gonna use tacky glue. <laughs> there goes the cap. I'm gonna use tacky glue. I had to thin this out a little bit, you guys, because I could not even get it to come out of the bottle. But I added some distilled water to it and I used my little mini blender and blended it up for like, I don't know, five minutes and it's golden now, it comes out perfectly. All right, I want it to not be, I don't want it to be flat. I want those crinkles to show. So when I push it down, I'm not trying to flatten it. I'm just pushing it straight down. Let me find this cap before I lose it. Oy. All right, Whew. okay. And I want, I like the edges to kind of be sticking up. See how the edges are kind of raised up off the page? There are my clocks. There are my clocks. And actually, this one has more distressing around the edges than mine does, but that's okay. I wasn't trying to match it exactly, just put something in there that was similar. And so see, I didn't put glue back here, and I like that. I like that it's like all marked up. Okay, what's on the next page? Okay, this is the page where we did the skeleton with the grill. Remember the skeleton with the grill? Hold on. This page is gonna get a bird. Skeleton, and he's got a shiny grill. I cannot hold this and see what I'm doing at the same time. Can you see the shine on his teeth? We glittered his grill, which uh, his teeth, which I think is so funny. That just cracks me up. We had so much fun doing that last week. So we did basically that same process. I printed out the skull from graphicsfairy.com, crumpled it up, tore it around the edges, crumpled it up, and then distressed it. And then we sparkled up the teeth just because we were in a funny mood. Then I used that same stencil. Here it is. We're pulling in the same design elements throughout the book. Stenciled in black. And then I was looking like, what could I put here? And I got this off of Graphics Fairy. So that would go great on this page, but it's too flimsy by itself. So we're gonna glue it to some this is just, um, you could just use white cardstock. This is watercolor paper, but white cardstock would work just perfectly fine. I'm gonna use the art glitter glue because I know I can get a really fine bead of glue. I actually would prefer to decoupage this, but I'm not gonna take the time. And this glitter glue works really well. Oh, it might not work well. Let's see if we can get the feet. Ooh, that's that's just extra tight in there. I'll show you what I mean. The glitter glue has a like a um, precision tip, one of the ones with the pins. Oh, I can't see the head. I can't see. I can't see to get it in there. Oh lordy lord! And my pin is bent. That oh ow! I just pricked myself. <laughs> I'm trying to do it blind. Okay, as that precision tip. So I went pretty, pretty tight with that glue on the back of that guy. But I think I'm going to spread it out around his feet because I want the feet. I want to make sure that the feet really stick down. <laughs> I'm going to get this on here and cut it out. Cut it out. I can't see, so I'm going to put it in front of my light so I can see a little bit. Okay, 
this guy, I'm going to fussy cut him, but I think I'm going to fussy cut him. <laughs> this looks really wonky. It is a piece of regular paper glued on to a piece of watercolor paper, and it's a scrap paper at that. Doesn't matter. Does not matter. We're going to cut all of this out so we get just to the bird. I just want the stinking bird. So let's get rid of all the excess around the bird and it'll make it so much easier to fussy cut. So what I mean by fussy cut, now that he's on there and look, that didn't stick. Why not? I, I, cause I'm working with it too quick. All right. So now that he's on there, oh, maybe we should glitter this. Oh, maybe. I'm going to fussy cut around him and I'm going to purposefully leave like, I don't know, a little white edging around him because I think I'm going to distress it brown. But it would be really fun to, um, should we glitter some of his feathers or his eye? Like maybe his eye should be like a little jewel or something. Like see, I'm just going to leave a little white around his body so we can distress him a little bit. If I distress on black, it's not going to show up, right? So if I leave just a little bit of white, all the way around the edges of this stinker. And I don't, I'm not even, I don't care if it's perfect. <laughs> like I'm just, that doesn't matter to me in the least. And I hope you guys can learn to let go of that idea that these things need to be perfect. See, see what we're doing here? We're just leaving a little white border so that I can distress it. Then it, it gives me something to make mucked up and brown to match the skeleton on the other side. I'm just, I'm just following the shape. Oh, this is like a lot of paper right there, driving me crazy. It's getting in my way. Let's just snip that right off. Cut that right out. Okay. Come around and we're done. All right. Fussy cut. All that can probably go in the garbage. Okay. Look, now we got this bird with this little bit of a white. Actually, I like the white background. What do you guys think? Gia says, I'm not too much of a perfectionist. I'm good enoughist. <laughs> I'm good enoughist. I love it. I love your good enoughist. Ooh, a red glowing eye or lime green. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Red eye or an evil eye. Well, remember, hold on. Do we have purple in here somewhere? We, we didn't. Mm-mm. Facebook, you're being a brat tonight. Oh, are we back? It told me that it was trying to reconnect. I remembered I have one of these little, these little purple rhinestone things. I have one here. I think I'm going to stick that on there. What is with Facebook tonight? Super coolness. Lime green or red glowing eye. I think I'm going to do the purple because, you know, I have it here and purple, I mean, it, uh, do we have any purple in here? Oh, I better glue that down a little better. Listen, we don't have any purple. Okay, not with the purple. I know. Hold on. I got an idea. Stickles to the rescue. I do have red, but I don't know that I like the red. I have red stickles, but I don't know if I like it next to the orange. So what if we did gold? Since we have gold on the, on the teeth of the, um, the little head here the skull. Let's do a gold eye with the stickles because the stickles are raised up a little bit. So it will give, oh, and I should have waited. I'm going to wipe this off. <laughs> I should wait because if I do it now, friends, oh, let's wipe it off. If I do it now, it came right off on my finger. If I do it now, I'm not going to be able to um, close the book to keep working on it. So stickles, we'll put this on the eyeball of the bird. Oh, these are called pops. They're just like stickles, but they're the scrapbook.com brand, um, brand of stickles. And then I have the black sparkly one, so we can, we can embellish the bird with that. Okay, let's just do a little bit of mucking up on the edges of the bird when oh, it's turning out like that mahogany color, <laughs> which is okay. So we're going to glue him down. It's hard to get into like this area, like right in that little crevice. 
those tiny little finger daubers would work perfect for that, but I don't have the patience to get them out, so we're just gonna force it. Okay, so this is what we got for the little birdie, and he's gonna go, he or she, she's gonna go right here as like a little statement piece, and I don't know, I think tacky glue will hold it down, but if the tacky glue struggles, because this is felt, if the tacky glue struggles, we'll pull out um, the big hitter, the matte gel medium, but let's try it with the tacky glue to glue this down, and then we'll stickle it, we'll put those special little embellishments on later, because I have some more stuff to do in other parts of the book but I thought this would be cute right here. Just as like hanging out with the skeleton, like a little surprise. All right, let's hope this is gonna stay in place. Let's hope, let's hope. I'm so glad you guys that we didn't get disconnected again. It's just been weird. I don't know what's going on. I don't know, I don't know. Okay, so now the skeleton has this cool black bird crow to hang out with. That, that glue, I don't know. We're just gonna let it set and see if it's gonna work. Do I not have any? Oh, it's not gonna work. It's It doesn't feel like it's gonna work, the tacky glue. We'll leave it, and if it doesn't work, I'm gonna pull out the um the good old matte gel medium, because that will work, I know that will work. All right, next up, I'm gonna leave this page. Oh, look what that did, it went right through. The matte gel medium wouldn't do that. The tacky th glue went right through my felt, so that's okay. Um, music sheet, coffee dyed paper, we're leaving that. This is a piece of packing paper that's ripped. I love it, it's really thin. It's something to work with for creating something pretty. I'm gonna leave that. We covered up the other one, but I'm gonna leave that one. Then we have this, the opposite side of this piece of paper. And do you know what I think I wanna do here? It's gonna be a bit messy, but I think I'm gonna paint it. I think, I think I'm gonna take my thing, sprayer, <laughs> and I'm gonna paint it. And why don't we try, I just, I don't want it to be perfect, but I wanna cover this up and put some color on here. So why don't we try the copper? Why not? We already have it on here. I like the color. It goes with those other pages. Let's try it. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna muck up here. This page, I'm adding a bunch of that there. I gotta get this to roll. This is not a good palette for this. I need this to roll to get the paint to like get all over this roller. So we'll do it right here. Ooh, and it, it, because it's a thick paint, it's leaving a really cool, it almost looks like the water on the beach when it's like playing with the sand. I don't know why that made me think of that, but I'm just gonna muck up this page so it's not so like perfectly white from the store brand new piece of paper. Okay, so we're just gonna color it up with some copper because we can. <laughs> it's gonna take a lot of copper, I think. More copper needed. Oh, it's so pretty. It's such a pretty color. You guys, I got this at the thrift store for like 50 cents and the stinking thing was full when I got it couple of years ago. I got silver gold and um, that one I think is called copper. Copper or bronze, I don't know. And I have used them so much. Oh, this is gorgeous. It's so easy and simple and it's so pretty. I'm trying to cover up those little words on the end of the page. And I need this to get filled in. Thank you. Oh my gosh, it's got such a pretty sheen. Who would have thought? 50 cent paper from the thrift store. Now, I've got this copper on my craft mat. So if I move this craft mat up to cover the other side, it's gonna get on this underside. And maybe we don't mind that. Maybe we'll just distress it a little bit with copper. Why not? Why not? We can do whatever the heck we want. It's our junk journal. <laughs> Right? That's the beauty of this. You get to do whatever the heck you want. Oh, did you guys make it back? Oh, Michelle says that's going to look great. I can't wait to hold it up on, in front of the camera so that you can see it because it has such a gorgeous, gorgeous sheen to it. It's so pretty. You notice I didn't use a paintbrush. You don't always have to use a paintbrush. A paint roller, this brayer gives it such a different look to the way the paint applies. And I use this roller when I use my jelly plate. So I thought, why not apply my paint with it? 
I do it in art journals all the time. There we go. I don't, I'm not looking for a perfectly covered page, but I wanted to cover up like the UPC code and the writing on the bottom here. Let's put a little more on the bottom right there. Now that that's dry. And what is this little mark? What, what, what are you doing? I don't know, but it's okay. Oh, I love it. I love it. I'm going to show it to you. I'm going to put this right in the water because I don't want that to dry on there. I mean, it, it could, but I don't want it to dry on there. So I'm going to put it right in the water and I'm going to hold this up so you can see how gorgeous this coppery sheen is. Look at that, you guys. Oh my gosh. Look at that sheen. It's just so perfectly, perfectly, brilliantly coppery. I love it. All right, and then this is that decorative page there. This page, remember, I still have to paint with the gesso because I want it to match the front. We need to let this dry though first. Let's get this done. Oh, this is so exciting. So the only page right now that I'm stumped by just a little bit is the envelope. Not stumped, I'm just like, oh, I don't know. I don't feel like... I don't think stumped is a good word because then it makes you feel like you can't get over it. I'm just still debating like what to do. So much of our ability to move on with our projects has to do with the way we talk to ourselves in our heads. So don't ever talk yourself out of it. Like, oh, I'll never figure that out. You sure will. You just may need to sleep on it a couple of nights so you can go back to your project later. You don't have to figure it all out right this instant. I don't even feel that pressure, you guys. And I'm live with you, you know, so you shouldn't you shouldn't feel that pressure. Would it be fun to add a little bit of that copper color in the diamonds over here? Does this still have any juice left? It does not, but I have plenty here. <laughs> I got plenty left. Let's just kind of carry that color in the diamond shape over here. Why not? We have it on the, the other page that we did earlier. We actually have this a couple of places in here. So let's just super distress add some more of these diamonds. Sometimes when you're art journaling, it is nice to have a page that's not completely blank. Just, it may seem silly, but to even have just a couple of little diamonds on your page gives you something to start with. All right, why not? Put that in the water for now because I might be done with that one. Okay, same paint. We just added a few of those diamonds there. I absolutely love. That would make such a pretty wrapping paper actually for a little small gift. Okay, so the only thing we need to do before we're finished here is to figure out, oh, this guy needs to really get stuck down and we need to put the little glowy eyeball. So I'll do that, but I'll have to do it like, I can't close the book while I have that glue on there. So I'll have to do that, you know, sometime when I can let that sit. This is not sitting well right here. And that makes me not happy. Washi tape. Mm -hmm. Washi tape. Where are you? Hold on. Washi tape to the rescue. We are going to tape that down, friend, because it's, it's not staying. Oh, we have got the washi tape challenge coming up in November inside the free group. And I got a bunch of bunch of new stuff to play with and I, for giveaways. But let's find a color that's going to match. I think. I've got the foil here and it's silvery. So well, let's just go with the basic silver foiled washi tape. And because washi tape is super low tack, meaning it's going to be really repositionable. My head is cut off, I'm just noticing. It's going to be repositionable. Like it's not gonna stick permanently. So you're gonna have to help it along if you want it to stick permanently, okay? So I might just do that. Oh, Lori, I'm glad you made it back. Is everybody, can somebody, can you guys just comment something? Because I don't know if I'm frozen again or not. <laughs> somebody say something in the comments so I know that you're there. Let's see, I think because we have this edge here, it's, it's playing with the edge here in a way I don't like. Let's see if this will. It's repositionable, so let's not get precious here. I'm just gonna make it the size I need it. Put this back in my box. Look, it just repositionable. So if you really want it permanent, 
got to put like your tacky glue or something on the back. So let's see if I can get this to tack this down for me. Ooh, this one's pretty sticky for being repositionable. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm just going to wrap that, I think. No, that didn't work. I wasn't quite far, far enough over. Uh-oh. Now we got the curl. We've got the curl because I pulled it up so quick. Okay, try it again, Gracie Gru. I wasn't tight enough in here. I got that big fat envelopes in my way of seeing what I'm doing. And I've got the beads in the way. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's getting crowded in here. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. We got it. We got this, girlfriends. We are gonna, you know, I don't want it hanging. I don't wanna wrap it around on the other side. I don't, because that paper's so pretty. And I don't want this up there. All right, that works. That will keep that down so it's not monkeying around. And when I like the little shimmer, because it matches the foil. We got this. Okay, so this is the place where I'm like not quite sure. Right here. I'm just not sure what I want to do here. Everything else is done, you guys. Oh, no. We need to, I'll, I'll need to tape this down. Oh, I need to tape. I'm going to glue those down. I'm going to glue those down with the gel, and that's going to be an overnight dry. So I, I need to do that less. But I was also going to add some of that here. Yes. I'm going to add a length of this here, I decided to. Because I think this will add, that lace will add a little, um, like, prettiness to this little edge right here. And mark off that edge so it doesn't look so plain. So I'm gonna cut a length of this to glue down later. I won't be able to do it now because again, because of the, it's gonna be an overnight dry time with that glue. But I'm gonna put this beauty right here on that flap. But then this is where I'm just stumped. What do I do? Ooh, let's look for a bag of tricks here. We got napkins, we got the mother goose section, we got music paper that actually is the same size as the envelope. Maybe that's my answer. This is basically the same size as this piece right here. And that I like better, I like the color better. So, let's try it. Will you pull apart nicely for me? Music sheet over a manila envelope. Question, how do we deal with the little, the little clamp right there? <laughs> the, little, the little thing. We're just gonna push our paper right through it. That's how we're gonna deal with it. <laughs> Problem solved. I push my paper right through the little clasp. So we're gonna glue this sucker down. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's what we're gonna do. What glue? I am pulling out the Mod Podge. Um, no, excuse me. I'm pulling out the liquid matte gel because I really want this to stay down nicely. Yeah, they pull right off. You meaning the um, the what do you call it? The washi tape? Yeah, they're totally repositionable. So they're so easy to work with. And then when you finally do want it to be permanent, all you need to do is put whatever your favorite glue is on the back. That's it, they're so easy breezy. We're gonna be covering a big section here, so I'm gonna get a bigger brush and I'm gonna wet all of this. This is my, my go-to matte gel medium for napkins, generally. It works great with papers. It sticks well, it's easy to move around because it's more liquidy. So I did not mean to get it up here. So that's the thing. I did not mean to get it there. Where did I put my rags? However, I do want to cover all of this. And I don't need to get it on the envelope. So let's pick that up and do this. All right, it's all wet. Let's stick her down. That sounded dirty. Stick her down, stick her down, let's stick it down. Hold on, you're a little bit crooked, so just stop it. Come on, don't 
be a jerk. All right, there we go. There we go. This is like my decoupage medium. I need more of it here. Blink, blink. There. Oh, that's so much better. That's so much better looking than just the big plain orange manila. I didn't even mind. There's my little clasp. That's actually kind of cool and funky that it's the same color. Now, would you cover this? Honestly, would you cover this cover or would you leave it manila? Should we cover the cover with something or leave it manila? I have an idea of what we could cover it with. And then this side, we could put that other page. You tell me, and we'll put this other side of the music sheet right here. On this side. Problemo. Solved. They don't matter. They're like basically the same page. So while I'm doing this, tell me, would you cover the manila part of the folder with something? Or would you leave it manila? Like, you know what I mean? Like that folder color, that ugly folder color. It's like an orangey brown. I'm trying to move everything around so I can get a sip. Uh -huh. Uh -huh, uh -huh. It's late night crafting, girlfriend. Miss Christy, you made it. Welcome. This stuff will dry clear too, so I'm getting a little bit on my washi tape, but that doesn't bother me in the least. Nope, because my good friend Liquid Matte Gel Medium is a good friend and it works. It does its job but it's really nice and cleans up after itself when he's done working. Oh gosh, that's funny. Okay, really wet, goopy, goppy layer of that. And we're gonna stick, I like this side better. I don't know why, it doesn't matter. We're gonna stick this down. Hold on, I need you to flatten out for me a little bit so I know what I'm doing here. Yeah, 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 that's good, right? No, 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 it's not good. We're a little bit off. It, it, this side is torn, so it's hard. I can't use the edge on this side to judge if I'm straight like I normally do. Uh-uh. Nope, nope, nobody, nope, nope. Come on, Gracie Gru. Get it together, girlfriend. What is what is the major issue here? The major issue is that it's late night. <laughs> As Christy says, it, the major issue, it's late night crafting and you'd be tired. I'm a little getting, a little getting slap happy. Okay. There, that's on. I'm going to wipe. There's some excess glue around the edges. Wiping it with my fingers to get it off. Because I don't want now this page. If I do this, I don't want them sticking together. This is so funky and I love it. Okay, so we need to make a determination. Why are you sticking up there like that? You don't have to be all stuck up. <laughs> don't be a stuck up snob. Get back down there. Do what you're supposed to do. Why? Am I not applying enough glue? Come on, friend. Leave it to me. I always miss my edges. Always miss my edges. Always. You know what you can do with this? It's a matte gel medium. I can go right over my paper and make sure it stays down. What are we doing with the manila? Oh, don't fall down now. Washi tape bucket. Put that tap down on it. The tape. Janice, you think I should use the tape? I know, Phyllis. I'm so sorry. I don't know what's going on. I'm sorry you lost us. I'm sorry. Oh, Pat Wolf says leave it. Leave it orange. What do you think? Because then it like, okay, obviously that's a manila folder. And obviously we got a spot to hide some papers or to put away something very important, right? Obviously, we got this little pocket here. So we could leave it or we could do something with it. Um, Lori says to cover it. Leave it for contrast. Kind of, I kind of like that too, Janice. And because the music paper, if you look this way, the music paper leaves a little bit of a frame of that manila envelope around on both edges. It doesn't completely cover it. So you can see the frame. So that makes it like really obvious. So I guess the question is, do you think that, you know, do you not want to see that? Do you not want that to be obvious? Or do you want it to be obvious? Because that could be just kind of cool. I have an idea though. Hang tight girlfriends. I know, we're gonna probably, I kind of thought tonight when I was getting ready that tonight might be a little marathon of crafty craft goodness here. Okay, I have another lace that matches that other lace. 
but it's wider. So it's the same lace as the other lace. Got it at the same place. Somebody must have had it. It's wider. What would it look like if we put that? It's the absolute perfect size. It's the absolute, like literally perfect size. Are you freaking kidding me? How weird is that? Hold on, girlfriends. It's even distressed. Like it's, you guys, this is definitely vintage lace. It's from Walmart from I don't know when, way back whenever, but I got it at a thrift store and it's even yellowed a little bit. Um, I think it was a one time like a cream color, but it has some yellowing on it. But it's like the perfect size for this, you guys. So what if I glued this down? It even has the big holes, so it'll have the holes for that clasp that has to go through there. Right? And then we could glue it down. I could wrap it around or I could cut it. I could fussy cut it to fit. You guys, it's so cool. If I put the lace on, let me just clasp it down so you can see the difference. That's with the lace. I love it. I love it. It's the same lace that I'm going to be gluing down in those other places. It's just, a, it's wider. It's just a wider but the same exact design, I think that's what we need to do. Because you can still see the manila envelope, you can still see the clasp, but it kind of pretties it up and it adds some texture. Love the lace, somebody says. Who said that? Lori loves the lace, right? It was meant to be. Jackie, it was meant to be, the lace. It's perfect, I agree, Gia. You guys see we're all on the same page. Denise, it's like, cheers, chip, chip, cheerio, we found a good fit. <laughs> My sister and I. When we drink chip chip cheerio we say to each other okay that's perfection i don't think okay this is the heavy hitter gel that the gel that i'm going to use to glue down the other lace this is it's like brother <laughs> and this is a liquid matte gel medium this is no i shouldn't say matte gel it's a liquid matte medium liquid this one is a gel matte medium so this one's thicker. This one's thinner. I use this for the paper. I don't think it will work. I don't think, but we're going to try it and just see what happens with the lace. I think the lace is too thick and heavy for this. I think it needs the heavy hitter. So let's do this. I'm just going to put a little bit of this glue on half and just see if I stick this down, is it going to stay? Will you stay? No, <laughs> I need the thick stuff. And the thick stuff, the nice thing about it, it's so thick that it'll go through the lace just like it did with the cobwebs. That's not gonna work, so I'm just gonna leave that. Just like it did with the cobwebbies. Where are they? Come on, cobwebbies. Where are you? Right here. I use the liquid, uh, the matte, excuse me, the gel medium on this cobweb and I put it right through the cobwebs. It was a fat, it's a fabric, but it stuck it right down on there. So it, it, it's not gonna go anywhere. We did it there and we did it there. Okay, works really, really well for that. So I'm gonna have to use that on the lace because the lace isn't sticking down with the, the thin stuff. But I'm so happy because with the music paper, we get the music paper. We added this decorative paper and the silver strip. Let's get all the stuff out of the way. We added the silver strip of washi tape. Let's go through from the beginning. What did we do tonight? What did we do? Okay, here we glued on this extra flap of legal sized um, coffee dyed paper. And later on, I'm going to glue, I'll do one of them tonight before we leave, just so you can see how that glue works. I'm gonna glue those down. That's the same lace we're gonna use in the other place. Then, what else did we do tonight? Okay, we did... This. We glued this flap down. Here. We cut the linen, the, the size we needed it. And we stenciled all over this 
and we stuck the little pumpkin inside the little tuck. We'll also glue this with the gel medium. We'll glue this down here, that same lace. Here, we added the music paper there. We added music paper there. We did this sheet we added. We added the washi tape. So we did a lot over here. And later on, before the end of the live, which will be just in a minute here, I'll glue that down so it stays there. Oh, we did this fabulous clocks page. Crinkled it up, distressed it up, glued it down. We added the crow, which, hey, it's sticking down pretty good. We added the crow. Oh, but that's sticking down on that page a little bit. This is what you have to be careful of when you're working in a journal. Just like you can't leave things tacky and close your book because things will stick together. What else did we do? Did we do something back here? Oh yeah, we coppered this page with copper paint and then we diamond, we added those diamond stencils there. So let's do a little bit of the gel. I'll do it on screen. I'll do, let's see, can I do two of them? No, I'll, well, no, I, well, maybe. <laughs> Hold on, make a decision here, Grace. If I fold this over and leave this like this for tonight, I'm gonna use the liquid or the, uh, excuse me, the matte gel medium on this lace and this lace. And I'll just show you how I apply it. And then I'm gonna have to let it sit like that for at least several hours, but I'll leave it overnight because it's late night and I'll you know clean up everything and go to bed and we'll leave this overnight. And then tomorrow after that's dry, I'll be able to go to the other points and put the other lace in. So I'm gonna grab my palette knife because that's what I like to use. Just a little palette knife. Because and then the other thing is I can dig out this this glue. This is liquid gel medium, matte gel medium by Liquitex. You can add this to your acrylic paints to thicken them up. You can because it's made out of the same things that acrylic paints are made out of. Um, but I use it for this glue and it works fabulously. So I'm going to apply it on here. It's going to look pretty thick, actually. This um, palette knife is a little bit big for this. Oh, I'm making a mess. It's too big. Okay, Gracie Grew, make a decision. I got some on this page down here. It dries clear, so I'm not worried about it. I'll just wipe it off with my finger. I'm just going to use my finger. This is horrible for your nails. It's horrible for your skin. So if you're going to be lazy and not wash your hands right away, don't do this because it, it's, it'll make a mess of your skin and your nails if you get this glue all over you. Just believe me when I tell you this. Okay, you can just believe me, trust me. I'm also gonna, I'm gonna push, my finger has some glue on it. I'm gonna push that lace down into that glue and on top of the glue, because now it's kind of oozing up through all the little lacy parts. I don't want this, actually, I don't want this ah, to stick to the page underneath it. So we've gotta be very careful when you've got these layers. So I'll put my, this under here while I'm working. Okay, the glue came up through and I'm putting it now on top of the lace. So we're gonna put some under the lace, all over the paper. And then we're gonna use our finger to push the lace down into the glue. And my finger has glue on it, so I'm just gonna use the rest of that glue to push this through. Now, because I have my non-stick heat resistant matte under there. Even if I get glue on there, it's gonna peel off no problem. Like it, it's just not gonna stick to that. Like it, it's not gonna rip anything. It's not gonna stick to it like it would the other parts of my journal. So it's, it's nice to have these little, you could use wax paper probably to do the same thing. But I like having the, the mats. Okay, that's in place. I'm gonna leave the edges I need more glue on the edges here. I'm gonna leave the edges the way they are until tomorrow, and I will cut them tomorrow after everything's dry. So I have glue, come on baby doll, I have glue going over the edges on both of these, but I'm just gonna leave it until tomorrow. Once it's dry, then I can fix that. Okay, let's go over to this one. And funny, funny, this almost like just matches up with the end of this. We need to just glue this up right there. and. 
it's basically the same color of, as the canvas and you could distress it if you wanted to, but I think I like it pure. I think I like it pure using my finger because why not? It's got glue all over it now and I'm applying a layer of glue where my little lace is going to go. I need more glue. My finger's not long enough to like really dig deep in there to get the rest of that glue out. I'm going to have to get my palette knife to help me. Yep. Come on, palette knife. I need more. I'm almost out with this jar. And that's a whole lot of glue, but it doesn't matter. It'll dry clear. Okay, right there. And then stick this on here. And this will stiffen up the lace. This lace is already pretty stiff, actually, on its own. It's not like super soft lace. It's kind of stiffage. Okay, we're going to stick this down, making sure that it's really, like pushed into the fabric or the material underneath there just gonna let that sit overnight making sure that I'm not gluing anything else down so wipe my fingers I'm gonna make sure because this is a tuck spot I'll make sure I'm not gluing down my opening of my tuck spot nope I'm not but this is not stuck down right there I need more glue right there bit fussy it's not hard to do at all okay so these this little flap with the lace on it that will sit overnight we're just gonna let it sit and dry I'm gonna put it aside actually I am um, explained earlier so if you knew you wouldn't have heard this explanation before but I use buckets to organize my so this has been this is the seventh episode or session for this project of working on this book so I've been working on it for a while and when that happens, I like to use like these plastic bins and I keep everything, all the papers and the matching printouts and even the stencils or the embellishments that I've been using for this project, I just leave in the bin. So I'll put this back up on the shelf to dry overnight and then tomorrow I'll do the other two lace parts. Um, so I'm not gonna flip through it now. We flipped through it a few minutes ago so you got to see most of it um, being worked on, but I'm not going to flip through it again. I'm going to pull names though for the happy mail. So let's pull like three names to put in the happy mail bin. Oh, I already had paper out. So I go through and I pull them from the comments and then I announce the names in the crafty chicks club, the people whose names have been pulled. If you're here live, you're going to know that if you're catching the replay, let me know that you caught the replay because I also choose replay watchers for their names to go in the happy mail bin. When your name goes in the happy mail bin, you have the chance of winning happy mail. So some crafty goodness from me will be sent in the mail if your name gets chosen. I announce all of those things inside the Crafty Chicks Club, which is my free group. Okay, so let's pull some names from the comments. Let's see if I can get these comments to come back up. Where are you? What a fun book. Oh, Judy, I'm glad you think so. She said, so cute. I know, other than Facebook acting up, hopefully hopefully tomorrow everything will be better. Okay, let's go all the way to the beginning. I'm going to pull three names. Um, the first name that I'm seeing is Michelle Maidlow. Michelle, your name. She said, oh, I didn't know we could rub on mats. Yes, you can use those rub-ons on fabric. So, Michelle, your name. What is today's date? The 26th, right? My Fitbit's out. <laughs> Michelle's name. It's going in. Okay, I'll pull another replay watcher, so make sure you comment replay. Next name is Debbie Gladden. Debbie, the comment that got your name into the happy mail bin is just the word foil. <laughs> foil, that's all you said. And now your name is going in the happy mail bin. So you have a chance of winning happy mail. Debbie Gladden. And the third name is Oh, let's see who is next. Michelle, your name's already in there. Let's grab somebody else. It's Janet Leanne Feeland. Aw, she says, I really enjoy your lives. Well, Miss Janet, I'm so glad you're here. I'm going to write, try to get your name, Janet Leanne Feeland. Let's see, Feeland, F-I-E. I gotcha, girlfriend. You are going in the happy mail basket. So make sure you join if you're not in there, ladies. Make sure you get inside the Crafty Chicks Club group. 
The link to that is in the description of this video. Um, the reason I say that is because if you win, I will tag you inside that group. You will get a notification that you won, and then you can send me your mailing address so I can send you some crafty goodness. I'm going to stow those away for now until I pick the replay watcher. Okay, so that's what we got for you tonight. What time is it? What, let me just check here on this iPad. What time does it say? 10.30. It was kind of a marathon tonight. We're almost done. We are pretty much done. In fact, I don't even think, so I've been doing um, the Mother Goose book on late night crafting for a while. So if you go back, you'll find parts one through six, and then tonight was part seven, to see the whole book come together. I don't even have enough work in that book to do to um, warrant another whole live. I'll probably do a live to show it all to you guys, um, but then that will be it. It'll be pretty much done on my end. I think I'm going to sell it. I think I'm going to offer it up for sale, um, and I'll probably do that in the Crafty Chicks Club, since you guys are like the Crafty Chicks. <laughs> so I'll probably do it in there, make it available for somebody to snatch up so they can use it on their own, or just have it to keep, or journal in it, or whatever you want to do with it. Okay, so hope everybody's having a good night, that you'll have a good rest of your night. Some of you are probably heading to bed, and for you, if you're on the West Coast, it's not so late. So you, maybe you're going to be crafting the rest of the night. So good for you. You're welcome, Jana. Um, such an amazing book. Oh, good night. Okay, wait a minute. Oh, Christy says she wants it. <laughs> well, keep posted. I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna just like list it in the Crafty Chicks Club. Oh, I'm so glad, Lori. I'm so glad. Mary, I'm happy to teach you guys stuff. I'm just so happy to share stuff like that with you guys. Tips and tricks and how to do things and just to spur ideas for yourself for your own crafty goodness. Jenna says, I think the witches with the cobwebs is my favorite page. How fun is that? I love that page. I do too. I love that page. Love it. Love it. I'm so glad. All right, you guys have a beautiful blessed night. Thanks for being here. Love you all. I'll catch up with you next time. I don't know when next time will be. Today's what? What's today? <laughs> Today's Tuesday. Tomorrow night I'm live inside the, cra um, the Napkin Lovers Club. So tomorrow night is Napkin Lovers Club, 7 p.m., we are our first session for this um, new box. So they just got a box in the mail and I've been meaning to do a live to show you everything that was in that box for those of you who are not members so you know what it's all about. Um, I will try to get that to that tomorrow. I'm gonna try, so um, we'll see about that. But tomorrow night I'll see the Napkin Lovers Club members in that group. Um, and then uh, we'll just see. I don't even know what comes after that. <laughs> it's too late to think straight. All right, you guys, many blessings. Have a good night. Bye. Go craft. Go make something pretty.